Tonight facing felony weapons charges. Circuit attorney Kimberly Gardner there saying, quote, today my office filed charges against Mark and Patricia McCloskey following an incident involving peaceful unarmed protesters on June 28th. It is illegal to wave weapons in a threatening manner at those participating in nonviolent protest. And while we are fortunate this situation did not escalate into deadly force, this type of conduct is unacceptable in St. Louis. Mark McCloskey telling Tucker Carlson tonight He's no fan of Gardner's conduct either. The circuit attorney has apparently decided that her job as a prosecutor isn't to keep us safe from criminals, but to keep the criminals safe from us. It's, it's a bizarre upside down world. I've been a little irritated by this process until today. Now I'm just flat out pissed off. I mean, this, is, this has gotten to be outrageous. Well, tonight, Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt is getting directly involved in the case. He joins us live to explain. Mr. Attorney General, good to have you with us. Good to be here. Okay, you're the top law enforcement officer and enforcer there in Missouri. Uh, what can you do involving this local prosecutor? She says, listen, there is a law against waving these weapons in, quote, threatening manner. Why'd you get involved? Well, the truth of the matter is this is nothing more than a political prosecution brought by uh, St. Louis prosecutor Kim Gardner. The right to self-defense is deeply rooted in our Constitution. Uh, it's a fundamental right. It actually predates our Constitution. The founders knew how important it was. Uh, it's a God-given right. It can't be taken away or given to us by government. It's something, it's unalienable. And so it's in our Constitution. It's in the Second Amendment. It's in the Missouri Constitution. It's in our statutes. Missouri has a, has a castle doctrine a lot, like a lot of other states. But Missouri's is very expansive. It gives broad authority to individuals to protect their lives, the lives of their family members, their homes and their property. And it's important to recognize uh, this was on a private street. And so at a time when there are calls to defund the police, at a time with skyrocketing violent crime rates, including in here in Missouri and in St. Louis, we've got a prosecutor now targeting individuals for exercising uh, their fundamental rights under the under the um, uh, under the Second Amendment. And so enough is enough. The law is very clear. It's time uh, as the state's chief law enforcement officer to step in. So we're entering the case and we're seeking to have this case dismissed, um, not just for the McCloskeys, but for every Missourian whose rights are threatened by a rogue prosecutor who seeks to punish people for exercising their fundamental right to self-defense. Okay, so let's talk about the two different sides reacting on Twitter, one of the places that uh, has become sort of a public square. We have a congressman, Lance Gooden, tweeting this. The protesters referenced in these charges broke down an iron gate and threatened the McCloskeys while trespassing on private property. They were not peaceful. This political stunt is a miscarriage of justice. Then from the left, Ture tweeting this. Just as I suspected, the McCloskeys, the St. Louis buffoons who pointed guns at BLM protesters, were indeed breaking the law. Quote, felony, unlawful use of a weapon. Many people argued that the couple was within their rights. Y'all were dead wrong. Enjoy the seat of shame. Why is this particular moment, those images, why are they so divisive and the country so split over looking at the same thing and seeing it two very different ways? Well, my focus is on the law, and the law in Missouri is very clear. It's unambiguous um, that you have a right to defend your property, your, the lives of your family. Uh, if the, the accounts are true, um, people were yelling uh, that they were going to kill them, kill their dog, burn their house down. Under Missouri law, and by the way, this is a private street, so it's private property. Under Missouri law, you have a right to defend your castle, your home, and the lives of your family. It's really not um, a, a close call here. And so this is a politically motivated prosecution by a prosecutor who's not interested in, in prosecuting violent crime, has an abysmal record. We have a skyrocketing murder rate in St. Louis. There's 136 murders already this year uh, in St. Louis. Um, calls to defund the police. And, uh, you know, the situation is out of control and this prosecutor is mm -hmm. spending valuable resources, only charging 20% of the murders right now, open cases, using valuable resources um, to prosecute people who are exercising a fundamental right, their Second Amendment rights. It's wrong, which is why, as Attorney General, I'm getting involved in seeking the case be dismissed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to make sure while we have you, too, that I ask you about this idea of federal authorities coming into states and cities. Uh, the mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, is one who signed on to a letter, mayor's letter to a number of uh, congressional leaders saying, we want the president investigated for sending in the feds. The administration's deployment of federal forces shows a shocking disregard for the legitimate use of our U.S. military and federal resources. We are a nation of laws. Reaction from you, Mr. Attorney General? 
we are a nation of laws and those laws need to be abided by. Um, we're gonna stand up for the rule of law. Kansas City has a uh, record breaking murder rate right now, as I mentioned, St. Louis too. This is all hands on deck. We have a very unique partnership in Missouri with our office, the Attorney General's office, with the U.S. Attorney's office. And so that unprecedented cooperation hopefully can be extended further to crack down on violent crime. The victims deserve this. There are too many mothers being lost. There are too many fathers being lost. There's too many children being lost. This is not a partisan issue. This is about public safety and we should all come together on that. All right, Mr. Attorney General for Missouri, Eric Schmidt, thank you for your time tonight. Good to be with you.